liabilities. So due to the assets, other current liabilities. So here's Alabama. I think you should go back to Greenbow, Alabama. Let's edit that Forrest Gump right there. I don't know what I'm talking about. In any case, we're going to say this is going to be other current. And then this is going to instead go into the uh, sales tax payable sales tax payable account boom all right so now it's a subsidiary account uh you can't change delete this account because it tracks sales tax okay i was afraid it might do that you would think it would still let me put it under a, a sales tax account so let's close this out and check it out again so what do we have here other current liabilities and then the sales tax so let's try putting the new account then uh, make it a sub category of the alabama account and that'll clean it up a little bit so let's go to the new sales tax account we set up so it's going to be other current liability and we have do, 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 other current liability sales tax here's the well here's the adjustment account let's uh, let's take that adjustment account and edit it and put it under one of the make it subsidiary see if it lets me do that to alabama department of revenue how about that and then we'll save that one and say yes okay that it allows me to do so that'll clean it up a little bit hopefully so i'm going to run this again on the balance sheet it would kind of be nice if they let me have a you would think you'd have a parent account of the sales tax if you had multiple locations but in any case now we've got this this is our sales tax and then this account i put in another account because we did it in kind of a generic format not using the widget because time has not passed so i put it into this uh second account you can see what happens here is is in january we have the the total sales tax that was owed and then of course we pay it uh in february and then and then in february the sales tax keeps on accumulating upwards and then this is the other sales tax that we had to pay for the 579 imagining these are representing the state and local although we chose two whole different departments in basically our uh, practice problem so basically the idea would be at this point in time did it, we're going to say that this uh, 1875.08 plus this 468.77.77 is the sales tax that was accrued in January, which we paid in February. And then this uh, 2318.04, or we can do it this way, this, this 25, 20, this is a negative 25 let's do it this way this uh 579.51 minus 25.82 that's five foot five three sixty nine is the sales tax which accrued so far and we've done the whole month of february which we would pay in march so if i go back to my reports on this side and open up our our transactions and look at my taxes for taxes tab and then we go into the sales tax. If I open up my liability report and I run it for 0, uh, 2, 0, uh, 2, 0.1.24 to 0.2.28.24 and run it. So now we have the 4.4.2.96 and the 1.1.0.74 for let's say 442.96 plus 110.74 that's the 55370 okay so that's the general idea of the sales tax remembering that in practice we would want to pay it you know with the widget so if i go into the the checking account up top then if i if i scroll down we paid uh the sales tax but we paid it with just normal check forms so these are the two it's a check form. If we paid it with the widget, then we'd have the special, another name, kind of like this bill payment, but it would be a special one to indicate that it was sales tax that was paid. All right, let's go back. 
that is it so this is where we stand as of this point in time on the balance sheet income statement nothing new happening to the income statement because the sales tax is off income statement in general both when we record it when using sales forms sales receipts and invoices and when we pay it with a check form or some kind of sales tax payment form which is just a special check form let's go to the trial balance this is where we stand if your numbers tie out here that's great if not try adjusting the date see if it's a date range issue assets liabilities equity income and expenses the order starting with the assets checking account accounts receivable inventory investments payments to deposit prepaid insurance furniture and fixture accumulated depreciation contra asset related to the furniture and fixture machinery and equipment that's what the company has who has claim to those assets the flip side of the coin liabilities and equity starting with liabilities the accounts payable the visa the sales tax the government and then we have the bank with the loan payable we have the payroll taxes the government and then we've got unearned revenue if we collected a deposit for example that we owe back or we owe work and then we have claim in the form of equity starting with the owner investment similar to common stock if it were a corporation we have the owner's equity similar to retained earnings if a corporation and then the income statement giving us detail about the last year of operations income minus expenses income credits expenses debits credits of income minus debits of expenses would give us a credit balance if we have income instead of a loss and that would be net income which would then be part of and roll into equity or retained earnings if it was a corporation and QuickBooks does that itself if we change the range 010125 to 010125 because QuickBooks does it on an annual basis.